Hi, this is Jen from Shipping Out, and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about minimalism. I had a conversation with a friend this week about, um, she was just like really inspired about me cleaning things out and getting rid of things, and she was like, Jen, I don't know, I can't, I'm having such a hard time getting uh, rid of things, and how do you do it? And I was thinking, gosh, there's so many things that have sort of inspired me and then uh, like I've read so many books and gone to uh, YouTube videos and done everything. I just need to have so much information inside me before I actually start something. So if you're like that out there, I wanted to say that some of the things that have, have inspired me um, were the, the first thing was um, the KonMari the the magical <laughs> I'm sorry I will what is it the life-changing magic of tidying up and to sum up the book which you should totally buy I mean because just every chapter was great and she talks about every different section you know clothes kitchen everything um, but the big picture is you I don't know you take something and you go, okay, do I love this? Does it make me happy? Or if it doesn't, you should just get rid of it. Um, so I did that about a year ago and I went through my whole house and I got rid of a lot. So that was a year ago and I'm a teacher. And so now it's summertime again and I'm ready to clean. And so I am getting rid of so much more. You see, it's like levels and different, different like calling out. Like I'm, I did that, and I've organized a lot. Now I'm getting rid of more and more. And I think you know, in a month, or I'm sorry, in maybe like six months or even a year, I'll get rid of more. And I really think that for me, it's like this phasing out thing. It's not just like okay, I'm gonna get rid of everything. Um, uh, another thing that has inspired me a lot, um, well, is this book called Clutter Free with Kids. And I, this is the second or third time I've read it. I'm rereading it right now. Um, and it is, it's great because a lot of like minimalism, a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of them, um, aren't with families, like, um, aren't with kind of, you know, children who run around <laughs> and make life messy. And I, um, I, I, that's where I am in my life. I have four kids who run around and are messy and that's perfectly fine. But, uh, I'm going insane cleaning up toys and I am going insane just, uh, picking up clothes. So I have uh, downsized that portion in my life and um, and I'm also working on myself and my husband a little bit so <laughs> who does not like to get rid of things who who has a wardrobe that's bigger than mine and anyways another uh, resource that I like is uh, just this new documentary on Netflix called Minimalism. And it has these two guys that have an awesome blog and I think it's, I think their blog is actually just called Minimalism or Minimalism Guys. And I really like their, their love, their attitude. Um, I think their motto is love people, not things. And um, that's true. So um, that resonates with me. So yeah, love people, not things. And you know, something that I've been noticing as I um, as I do get rid of things, and I have more more you know clear spaces. Like I have um, clear walls and less furniture. Because I love furniture and I sort of collect it and don't want to get rid of it. But I'm having a garage sale and I'm getting rid of it. Um, is that I am more, more inspired and more creative. And I feel like fresher. Um, so, yeah. 
I'm I'm enjoying it. There's also been less a little bit less cleaning, although my house is trashed completely um completely messed up right now. Um something else that I I saw like I was watching um some YouTube videos on alternative living and I stumbled upon this girl who travels the world with her husband and they don't have anything. They just have like what they have on their back. And um she was saying the way they got there was she scanned a lot all of her documents and everything into a scanner. And um I was like, hmm, okay, interesting. And um, so she, she talked a lot about this one scanner and I, after looking at reviews and, um, cause I'm a researcher, um, I bit the bullet, bought it and I haven't been happier. Oh my goodness. Okay. So this is it right here. I turned it on by accident, but it's called a uh, doxy and it, um, you just like scan things in comes out the other way and it remotely like sends it to your computer so I'm sure I'll I'll give an example in another um, video of exactly how this works this has been great so I am an art teacher and I love art and guess what as an artist who married an artist we created little artist people too and those little people make awesome, amazing colorings and drawings and paintings and they do it all the time. And I have a lot of artwork that I do not wish to get rid of that sparks joy in me like Conmari says. <laughs> so this has been an amazing way for me to scan their artwork in and I have it digitally. So I can always look at it. And I can turn it into different things if I want. Or I can create like a Shutterfly book if I want. Of course, that's making something. But, you know. Um, and then it also has sort of made me, um, since I since I, I was wanting to hold on to all my kids' artwork, um, like now I'm going through it all and I'm like, oh, that was a really good piece. Mm, these aren't so good, you know. Like this is a, it's, it's made me sort of, um, what is it? Um, curate their work, and I think that's that's cool. That's good for us. So I've been, you know, taking everything off the wall and then just putting like something awesome on the wall. So, anyways, I just wanted to send out some inspiration and love for any person out there who is thinking about um, like kind of downsizing and and becoming a minimalist and just trying to, you know, get some of those rhythms in your life. So, yeah, I hope this inspires and send you on a good path. Bye.